Well, fans, it's the bottom of the ninth inning. Two outs, the bases are loaded. It's a full count to Yankee slugger Eddie. Here comes the pitch. And Eddie swings, and it's a deep. It's go, 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 go. Eddie, hey, Eddie, you like mustard on this? My name is Eddie. I live in New York City, East Harlem to be exact. Here's where I go to school, PS72. School's tough, but it's a lot more fun ever since I got a teacher named Miss Tolliver. Miss Tolliver makes us keep a journal. And I want you to write about what you learned today. I took the idea and ran with it. Parker, check him. Hi, Eddie, come on in. Right next to that red pole, there's a whole bunch of triangles. My mom has lots of names for this mess, but I call it my foul. Ever since I was a kid, I've dreamed of being in the dugout with the Yankees. But who would have thought statistics would make it all possible? It all started on game day in Miss Tolliver's class. Time to play ball! We had teams. You're the Eagles. You're the Tigers. You're the Sharks. You're the Zebras. And you are the Pythons. Okay. We had rules. You will get 10 times at bat. And we had popcorn. You will put the popcorn at the tip of your nose, <laughs> and you can look down into the jar, and then just let it drop. Hey. It's time to play ball. Okay. Are you watching? You can't. Okay, so what's his score? Who got six out of ten? Okay, pretty good snaps. Getting the popcorn into the jar was one thing. That's it, stop! But figuring out the winning team was a whole new ball game called Statistics. Now, what is statistics? What is statistics? Shandis. A branch of, of mathematics that deals with data. Good for you. So what is the data that you're interpreting? The data is in numbers. Okay. There were a lot of ideas on how to figure out the winner. The tiger said... You will have to take the lowest number with the highest number and subtract. Then Jessica's team said we should use the mode. The number that is repeated the most. Okay. Shandice wanted to use her team's average. How do we compute your average? First you have to add the amount of numbers down to get your total. Then you have to divide by how many numbers you have. We argued so much, we almost needed an umpire. Then we realized that if we use the average, then every player's score would count. Now, which would be the fairest to use? Average. 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 In this case, we're going to use the average. So we worked on our stats. What is that number called that's most frequently used? That's the mold. Good for you. OK, so what's the highest number for your group? Eight. To fill it in. So first of all, to find the average, what did you have to do with it? Add them up. Okay, add them up and then what? Divide. Good. Okay, it's time to declare the winner. So based on the average, the winners are... The Pythons. Because they had the highest average. But our team came in a close second. Now, for homework, I want you to gather some statistics. You'll be able to collect what a great day for baseball. It's Since it was baseball season, I decided to keep stats on hot dogs right, at Gus's. Thank you very much. So, Eddie, you want to keep track of the dogs I sell, huh? Well, you come to the right place because my dogs are the absolute best in... Oh, strike two. Hold on a second. It's a 2-2 two -two count to Wade Boggs, and he'd sure love to get a hit right now. He's really been struggling.
struggling at the plate. You can say that again. Box can't buy a hit. And here's the pitch to Box. A swing and a miss. Strike three. And the Yankees rally falls. Yeah, yeah, bum! Well, that's the third strikeout today for Boggs and the seventh in his last 11 at bats. Blue boy. Well, Boggs averages. Jeez, I hope it wasn't the hot dogs he ate here. I wondered if Gus was talking about Wade Boggs of the Yankees. Yeah. Didn't I tell you? Boggs was here a couple of weeks ago, bought a couple of dogs with the whites. Check this out. Here you go. Yeah. Left his batting glove. Got his initials right there. Gus wasn't kidding. Wade Boggs had been there. There you go, Eddie. It's yours. I couldn't wait to show the glove to Aunt Rosa. Because she's a huge Yankees fan. Wow, this is, this is Wade Boggs' batting glove. <laughs> I'm actually holding Wade Boggs' batting glove. Eddie, when did you say he left us at Gus's? I told her it was about two weeks ago. Two weeks? That's how long Wade's been in his batting slump. I, 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 I gotta check the stats on this. Like I said before, our Rosa's a huge Yankee fan and she knows her stats. Statistics tell people who's hot, who's not. When you look back on all the greats in baseball, you don't say, well, this guy was a really good guy and he could hit the curveball and he ran fast. You'd say, he hit 755 home runs, or he hit 400, or he had 25 wins. I mean, it, it all comes down to stats. She's a baseball reporter. For USA Today Baseball Weekly. Two outs, two. He runs the scoreboard. Here in Yankee Stadium. And they both use statistics. And I'll talk to the players, write features about the players and about the teams. I'll keep score, and I'll keep track of what's going on. We are in the scoreboard control room of Yankee Stadium. We have an awesome view of the field. Everything that comes out of this room goes to the boards for everybody to see. Balls and strikes, outs, runs, home runs, strikeouts, who's at the plate, and what he's batting. Batting average is actually pretty simple. It's hits. Divided by times at the plate. For example, a guy goes three for 10. Three divided by 10 is 0.3 or 300, as we call it in baseball. A batting average over 300 is really, really, really good. Our statistics have to be dead on accurate. No, that's not. No, no, it's not. It's, it's, that's the wrong batter. Cut it back. It has to be right because it has one shot to go out there and be displayed for the fans. It's tough, it takes a little pressure, but when the Yanks are rocking and you're playing some music and you're showing some cool videos and the house is rocking and bopping, it's a lot of fun. It's like being at a big party. It is the best job in the world. Stats back this up. I mean, Wade Boggs has only had two hits in the past two weeks. Now, before that, he was tearing the cover off the ball. I bet you this might have something to do with it. Hmm? I bet you that this might pull Wade out of his batting slump. I mean, this could be Wade Boggs' lucky batting glove. <sighs> All right, Eddie. You know what we gotta do? We gotta get this glove back to Wade Box. Yankee Stadium. Let's do it. People come to a game, they expect to have all the food and beverages waiting for them. And it is my job to make sure that they're all able to eat and drink anything that they like. 
most of the time I'm behind the scenes. My primary job here at the stadium is to do all the ordering for all the food mm -hmm. and beverage items that you see when you come to a ball game. Mm -hmm. To get ready for a baseball season, I got to order in big quantities. Two million hot dogs, two million rolls, 200,000 bags of peanuts, about 100,000 bags of popcorn, almost a million bottles of soda, a million packets of ketchup, four million packets of mustard. Since we're dealing with enormous quantities, I have to make sure that I have enough for the fans that I don't have too much left over or that I don't run out. It's not much guesswork. I have to look at our past statistics, attendance reports, sales reports, how many tickets are sold to figure out what I need to order for the upcoming games. I've been pretty lucky that I haven't run out of anything that we sell over here yet. If I did run out, I don't think I'd be talking to you right now. Aunt Rosa and I tried to get into the stadium through the players' entrance. Leave it to me, I'll sweet talk it. Hold on here, folks. Uh, you got a pass. Hi. How are you? Oh, cool shade. You got a pass. You know, we don't have a pass, but we have an emergency. I've got uh, Not so fast, lady. Oh, <laughs> it's just a batting glove. Actually, belongs to Wade Boggs. We're just trying to return it to him. You know, where did you get those shades? They are so cool. Uh, <laughs> you expect me to believe that this smelly old glove belongs to Wade Boggs? Well, look inside. It's got his initials right in there. See? There must be what? Maybe 10,000 people in New York City with the initials WB? Nice try. Come on. Oh, hey, 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 uh... You really think that these look cool on me? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> We didn't have much luck with the security guard, so we moved on to Plan B. We're live at Yankee Stadium for our annual Mr. Baseball Trivia Contest. Hi, this is Smacksaw Harrington, and if you answer three questions in a row, you could spend the day with the Yankees. And the winner got to meet the Yankees and watch the game from the dugout. If we won, then we could give Wade Boggs his lucky batting glove. What Yankee pitcher pitched a no-hitter to clinch the American League title? It's a cake. Catfish Hunter. Catfish Hunter. Take a seat. Uh, it's got to be Whitey Ford. Have a nice day. Is it Sparky Lyle? Sparky Lyle was a relief pitcher. Where'd you put your head on this morning? How about Goose Gossage? How about Goose being the wrong answer? Goose Gossage, indeed. My man, David Cohen. He may be your man, but your man is the wrong answer. Sorry. It's got to be Don Lawson. Take a seat. Don Lawson pitched a perfect game in the World Series. Ron Guidry. Ron Guidry is the incorrect answer. Have a good day. Uh, is that Nolan Ryan? Nolan Ryan never played for the Yankees. Allie Reynolds. Allie Reynolds is right. Reynolds pitched a no-hitter against the Boston Red Sox to clinch the title. Well, this little lady knows her baseball, but this one's going to get you. You are two correct answers from spending a day with the Yankees. Ready? Who is the all-time major league leader in career strikeouts for a batter? Um, hmm. Reggie Jackson. <laughs> Reggie Jackson is absolutely right. You are one correct answer from spending the day in the Yankee clubhouse and dugout. This one's going to get you, though. What was Babe Ruth's World Series batting average in 1922? <laughs> um, ooh, 1922. Time's running out. Um, ooh, uh, the Babe, uh, I think he had a bad season that year. Maybe it was the year after. I'm not, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to go, all right, all right, I'm going to. I'm going to go with batting average 118. 118 is the correct answer. You are our winner. You are our new Mr. I should say Ms. Baseball Trivia. And there's those two passes I hope you and a guest enjoy in the Yankee dugout in the clubhouse. I couldn't believe it. 
but I run and we were on our way to the Yankee clubhouse. This woman knows her baseball. So there we were. It was a dream come true. Excuse me, Mr. Hi. Boggs. How are you doing? Hi, my name is Rosa. Hi, Rosa. And this is my nephew, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. And uh, we have something that belongs to you. You do? Yeah. Hey, that's my batting glove. Yeah. Well, where'd you find this? Well, Eddie found it at Gus's. Oh, yeah, great hot dogs. <laughs> we thought you might need it. You do? Why? Well, uh, we noticed that ever since you left the glove at Gus's, your stats have been going down, and we thought, Maybe this is your lucky batting glove. Well, I don't think that, that my performance over the last two weeks has been caused by a batting glove. I've been doing some things mechanically wrong. My elbow's too low. My hands are too high. Uh, I'm superstitious about a lot of things, but a batting glove is, is really not one of them. Hmm. So, Eddie, why don't you take the glove? You keep it for a souvenir. Enjoy the game. And so the game began. And I still had the lucky batting club. Well, it's another beautiful day at the ballpark as the Yankees take on the Angels. steps up to the plate, on, riding one of the worst slumps of his career. Fox checks his swing for strike one. Oh, strike two. He really reached Come for on, that Lee. one. Come on. There's a swing and a miss, and Boggs is out of there. Ooh, the Boggs, that wasn't even in the strike zone. Eddie, we gotta get him the club. Find hard for a single. Runner slides into third. He's safe. Smoke to the corner. Two runs are going to score, and the Angels take the lead. Well, the Angels score two quick runs, and the Yankees find themselves behind two to nothing. Wade Boggs at the plate. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Boggs strikes out again. Oh, Boggs, what are you doing? Come on, Wade. Things are going bad for Boggs. Maybe he needed his lucky batting glove. Well, if you've just joined us going into the top of the seventh, you've missed absolutely nothing. The Yankees still trail the Angels two to nothing. Ouch, make that three to nothing. We were getting clobbered, and our Rosa was not happy. Then, in the bottom of the ninth, the Yankees got some hits. And the Yankees have the bases loaded. So this is it, bottom of the ninth. Base is loaded, two outs, and the Yankees down three to nothing. Here we go, Yankees, here we go. Wade Boggs is at the plate, and if ever there was a perfect time to break out of a slump, this is it. Come on, Boggs, you can do it. All right, here's the pitch. Boggs swings and misses badly, strike one. Ah, Boggs! Boggs digs in, he's set. Here's the windup in the pitch. A swing and another miss, strike Come two. On! Box calls timeout, he's headed back to the dugout. Looks like he's gonna switch bats. Okay, kid, give me the glove. I hope it works. Well, it looks like Box took care of whatever he had to take care of and he's returning to the plate. Come on, Box. come on, you can do it. Yeah, you got it, baby. Yeah, you can do it, Steve. Boggs adjusts his glove and steps back in with the bases loaded and the game on the line. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Box swings and hammers the ball to deep center field. That's going!
So everyone was a winner. Mark snapped out of his batting slump. Aunt Rosa and I got to sit in the dugout with the Yankees. And because I helped him with statistics, Gus is selling more hot dogs than ever. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Wade Box is still wearing his lucky batting glove. And Box drives it hard to deep left field. Oh, that one's a way back and out of here. Oh, I don't know what happened, but Box sure turned it around. I guess it's time to close the files on this one. I have a feeling tomorrow's going to be a big day. PBS.